This data command... Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Oscar, Romeo, Echo, Delta, Field. At the top of the hill, in the Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Oscar, Romeo, Echo, Delta, Field. At the top of the hill, in the Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Oscar, Romeo, Echo, Delta, Field. time it is it's four in the morning which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas yeah what's your vote usually in uh, that situation usually I'm asleep at 11 with my hand half dunked in the chip bowl you think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work like really yes uh, undoubtedly without doubt Absolutely, it's gonna work. Well, I'm glad you're confident, because I just have this feeling like these ghosts aren't really concerned. I just feel like they're pretty confident. Like they know by sunrise they're all gonna be shopping for school supplies. Jonas, don't worry about that. We don't know what they're thinking apart from the I want to live in you thing. I'll try not to worry. I think that this um, stuff is getting pulled in from like their time or something. This is so weird. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a good omen. I think we're running out of runway here. I guess Maggie was the one who had this place turned into a park. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works. She thinks that the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead? Uh, 
Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. <sighs> God, we're in another loop de loo They always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? <sighs> yeah, they do. Thanks for the update. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also... hope that. Nona, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's... he had an accident. He... he died. I couldn't... Nona, come on. Clarissa was dead too, but like bunny ears dead, not dead dead. Because apparently killing yourself doesn't actually do anything here. Alex! I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, Nona. I didn't mean anything. What happened? He... he drowned. He took a fall. I don't know. He just... he just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. And done, in this case, is particularly... Fix Ren, whatever you want to call it. I know you're doing it. Just fix it! It's not us doing it, dear. We weren't lying. The time loops, as you've taken to calling them, which we do find so adorable, are of your own making. <sighs> Whatever. Alex, we know you're in charge, and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And you should take what it. What on earth would give you the idea that I'm in charge? It's been like herding puppies the entire night, making anyone do anything. Please drop the modesty. It's lying for no reason. It's already over with Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But if you agree to let us take her, let her go quietly and without fuss, we won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. No, we'll no, no way. I'm saving everyone. Everyone is coming home with me. We're all getting out of here. <sighs> Courage is not always the way, dear. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Hmm? We're getting out of here. All of us. Run too. <laughs> okay. We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't provide you all the rules. I know he was your best friend, Alex. 
I I'm sorry. I don't I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then he was just gone. It's okay, Nona. You you didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course, it's not your fault. I didn't know him that well, but I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is he was more important. No, not really. Ren would be flattered to hear you say anything about him. So, if he can hear this at all, trust me, he's over the moon right now. Sure. It's a tiny thing, but I hope he knew that I liked him. And I don't know if he did. He knew, Nona. Don't worry. He knew. Like I said, it's a tiny thing. But thanks, Alex. The station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God. That was... My mouth feels like I just... ate a... tree. The ghosts, they tried to make, like, a deal with me for Clarissa's life. I, I didn't take it, of course, but... I don't know, I, I just thought you should know. God, that must mean they're getting desperate or something. If they had any, like, power over the situation, they wouldn't try to work out a compromise. Anyway... Hello? What? Are they? Oh, they're, um, they're somehow... I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the, uh, station speakers. <laughs> are you guys at the station? Anybody? Jonas? How are they, like, doing Jonas, that? punch uh, out so you can hear this. It's me. I mean, there has to be, like, a switch on their end Seriously, or something to right control the, the, uh, Jonas, don't listen. We're all set here for the, uh, the thing? Oh, you the know what I mean. The thing with the... With the stuff. Yeah, let's do it. Times are wasted. Like actually wasted. Like I feel my body wasting away. No, it's it's okay if you're like dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. What stuff? The uh when I almost kinda slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my god, you guys, that No, it was been it was psychotic to watch. Like Almost doesn't quite describe the terror that held my heart watching her come close. It wasn't that. You were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean from like 5,000 feet up. It wasn't that high. It was like, it was high. Believe me. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No, it, ugh, just whatever. I'm fine. She is fine. It's true. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, just whenever you're ready, because I'm sure you're listening. Yeah, just hit the button, the receiver thing, and we can do this no, stuff. Stuff, exactly. I know who I am. <laughs> okay, but over. Nothing else makes a difference. Over now. Why do you have to have a last word? Over's good enough. Dex. Over now. Six. Well, how do you know you're Bobby Dunbar? I know who I am, and I know who you are. And nothing else makes a difference. The Catbird station was built to detect any enemy attempting a strike from the air. When operational, it was fully outfitted with an SCR-271 antenna and an early version of OTH, which stands for Over the Horizon, a radar system used to detect targets at extreme distances. It was also the first check of the call and response method. 
If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified, a call would be sent from this station and, if the signal was found to be accurate, would trigger automatic safety measures and the evacuation of non-personnel. The Catbird station was built to detect any enemy at... Hello, we're here. We made it. Hello. Oh, hello. This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Oh, thank God. I'd like to report a poltergeist. They've come into my house. They've shaved all my cats. They look better in my mittens. Oh, I just need any and all advice you can give me. Well, first... Can everyone just shut up. You can play dress-up phone time when you get home. We got work to do. All right, Mr. No Fun. No Fun? What is that? Swedish? Man, you guys are a real comedy team here. Stunning. The wit on display. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Hey, we're awesome. Awesome enough, at least. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out. I have an idea, Mr. Jordan. Couldn't we have him reborn? Oh no, come on, Jonas, don't turn freaky now. Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think, um... Are you okay now, really? Yeah, I think. It's just, um... Uh, look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like... Just, like, how do I say this? Because I don't want to... It's okay, Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say, I just, I think it would have been cool us living together for, for whatever, senior year. And I'm just glad I met you, that's all. I'm just glad we met. <laughs> I'm glad too, okay? So there, it's out in the open, we're both glad. Okay, good. So, that's it. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. And we're gonna be fine, by the way. There's no... You don't have to put it like... It would have been whatever to live together. We are gonna live together. And you're someday soon gonna eat all the peanut butter. And when I go make a sandwich, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> all right. Somebody else here to watch after the grounds, Bill. I was at Park Warden in Grants Pass, so this will be old hat to me. William Marshall, a local park ranger working in Edwards Forest, killed himself today after what his wife describes as a years-long battle with depression. His body was found hanging from a tree in the... <laughs> Oh, Maggie thought that the way the ghosts can talk to us, and vice versa, is... waves.
They, um, Maggie and Anna tried to bring the soldiers back in the cave. The base first found the ghost's messages here. She, well, Maggie, brought her friend Anna here to help, I guess. The communication school here taught them how to make codes. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight. But. You know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. Who's Ash... Oh, you mean Amanda? My really good friend Amanda who's moving away forever? That Amanda? Yeah, that Amanda, who stole her mom's car. And I don't care if you didn't know she didn't have permission to take it, because whatever, fine. But you knew you didn't have permission to go to that show. <sighs> Just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However inadvertently. My little heart can't handle the excitement. It'll be the last time, but maybe not for the reasons you think. I don't really care about the reasons, just for my own sanity, don't do it anymore. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. <laughs> that sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something, but you, you know what I mean. Wow, big man on campus, I don't know why I said that. Big step, that's what I mean. Big step. Nah, it's not a big deal. I'm just letting you know, so... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. I just wanted to tell you. Come on, let's get to the sentry before the last boat comes. I gotta get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. Ugh, Michael, come on. You're graduating in like three months. Shouldn't you be coasting? Hey, I am coasting. This just happened to be slightly fun. This is... It's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of... I don't know. And I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. But everybody loved... Everyone loves you here. You're like... I mean, you should hear how the teachers talk about you. I know how they talk about me. It's like, if I don't become a billionaire president, their life has been wasted. I know you think I have it on easy street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Give me a rest. Just don't put so much pressure on yourself, Michael. Who cares what they think? You're gonna... You're gonna do what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yes, I will. Uh, let's head back before Karen strands us here. 
You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Oh, God, Michael, I have no idea. I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Oh, my, how profound. I can't believe Uncle Pete's a mere failed actor and not teaching philosophy at Berkeley. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, yeah, whatever, man. Alex? Stop it. Just stop. <sighs> you got, you know, you went bad again? I couldn't get you out of it. We should really, we should get this done now. I saw, I saw Michael again. I just, I'm sorry. When I'm there, I just get sucked into it like nothing happened. Come on, it's all right. I think I can hear Ren and Nona down there. Just don't say anything to them, okay? This is, it's just like a trial period, like buying a used car that I can already tell is missing a lot. What? I know. I'm cool. So don't get, like, overly excited. I'm not excited. This is just... This is how I normally stand. All right, but seriously, just don't say anything, okay? Hey, I'm... secret secrets are no fun unless you share with everyone. What is it? Reveal yourselves. We're dating. We're dating. Nona and I, we're gonna date. Rin, dude, what did I just say? What? They asked, right? You asked? Ugh. Mazel tov on the happy couple. <laughs> Thank you. No, stop. It's one date at the Revival Theater. We're just going to sit quietly in the dark and watch a documentary on Bosnian genocide. Hmm. Romantic. Hey, one man's depressant is another chick's upper. Aw, how cute. Riviera is a great movie house. And the ushers can't tell where you're putting your hands if you sit in row G, by the way. Please don't tell him that. Anyways, I know it's stupid to be planning or whatever for this, but I don't know. I just feel like maybe it's not that insignificant or whatever. Whatever. Truly the language of love. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I mean. Good. I'm glad. This is... I mean, at the very least, I'll get to hear embarrassing stories, so... I... I want to get this off my chest. Just... Something happened to us tonight, Alex. Something broke. I don't know if it was the ghosts or whatever, but you've been acting like not you. Ren. No, I just, I don't know. Well, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what else to say, really. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm even saying this now. This is stupid, but can we, like, take a picture? Why? I don't know. In case things go bad and... Yeah, let's do it. We're on a beach. Kind of. Let's keep a shred of normal here. All right, let's take it. Alex, get in here. You're not getting out of it. All right. Once we're in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. So make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside. <laughs> 